The Beaverton Guide to the U.S. Supreme Court Confirmation Process. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the United States, so it's very important that justices go through a rigorous screening process. The current court has room for eight of the nation's greatest legal minds and one Clarence Thomas. The sitting president's job is to wait around until one of the justices dies. When they do, the president is constitutionally empowered to nominate their replacement, as long as that president isn't kinda, sorta, near the end of their term. But that's just the beginning of the journey for the prospective justice. Next, the nominee must prove they have a practical legal mind by surviving three minutes in the cage with the chief justice. If the nominee survives, they'll be forced to go through an even more brutal process, the Senate hearings. Over the course of several weeks, Democratic senators will determine where the nominee stands on issues of civil rights, due process, and marriage equality, while Republican senators will ask the justice how much they think abortion is murder. Finally, it's time for the Senate to vote. A simple majority is all that's needed to confirm a Supreme Court justice. The justices who are confirmed are given the sacred task of steering the direction of American law for the rest of their lives, although once again their opinion still only counts as much as Clarence Thomas's. Now you know about the Supreme Court confirmation process.